So I don't think it's a hidden um, thing anymore that a lot of sellers these days don't offer free returns when they're selling on eBay. And I think they have every right to be skeptical about the whole free return thing. Um, for the most part, when I talk to other resellers, they are offering returns, but they they have the buyers pay for the returns, uh, which is not a bad deal. Uh, but in, in our opinion, for us, we always offer free returns on all the items that we sell on eBay. And that's just how we've been doing it. And we have three main reasons for that. Um, most returns don't happen anyway. Uh, number two, most returns age out. And number three, probably the biggest reason is buyer's confidence and trust. Uh, it really shows your your um, your customer service, how much you care for your customers, and your professionalism overall as a business owner. This is the Thrift Adventures crew. I'm Ramel coming at you guys again with another video. In this episode, we're going to cover why we always offer free returns on all the items we sell on eBay. Stay tuned. Let's get right down to it. So unfortunately, a lot of people are way too concerned uh, about the how much, uh, meaning um, they're, they're too concerned about how much money they're losing on one item whenever it does get returned. But sadly, I think they're missing out and they're missing the, the bigger picture and um, missing out the overall picture of what, what it is that they're trying to accomplish here as a business owner on eBay. So when you are not offering free returns and you're having your buyer pay for the return uh, you lose that buyer confidence in, in my opinion so think about it for a moment i mean would you buy from someone who does not offer free returns or would you rather buy from someone who does offer it right so offering free returns can be used to your advantage and for us this is the three reasons why we do it so reason number one, uh, most returns don't happen anyway, guys. Uh, we are currently on a 2% or 1.7% uh, return rate for all of our items. So you shouldn't be getting too many returns in the first place, okay? Um, so what does that mean? Well, for every 100 transactions, um, we typically have 1.5 of that to two of that get returned to us. And that's just how our number works. So we are confident enough that whenever we pick up an item, we sell it on eBay. Chances are, or two out of every hundred times, it, that is the, the number that that will get returned. Every two of those hundred will get returned. And, and to us, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad deal because we can afford that. We, we can absolutely take that as a loss or we just redonate the item back if we're not making any money on it. You know, um, we get all of our items cheap enough, low enough. Uh, the cost is so low that we are not too concerned about how much we're going to lose on that one return because our percentage rate is less than 2%. Our return rate is less than 2%. So from our experience, letting our buyers know that we that we will pay for the return if they did not like it for whatever reason, it's on us. It's 30 days. It's on us. Um, we are giving you a free 30-day return, uh, and we will pay for the return itself. Uh, that's just how confident we are on all the items that we buy that that we resell on ebay so reason number two um most returns age out uh i don't think a lot of people realize this maybe they just haven't been selling on ebay long enough but 
for us, um, most of our returns actually age out. I'd say at least 50% of all the returns that we've had ever since we started doing this, uh, they, they age out. So what does aging out mean? Um, that usually means when they open up a return, it stays in that state and then they just forget about it. And then uh, eBay closes the, the return request out in your favor and you don't have to give them a refund back. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times that's happened to us. And and it's a good thing because, you know, I mean, you're, you're not trying to set them up on a trap or anything, but people do forget. Uh, think about it, guys. Uh, how many times have you ordered something from Walmart or Amazon and you wanted to return it for whatever reason? You leave it in your trunk, making sure that, OK, you know, you're, you're committed to this. You're, I'm, I'm going to return. I'm going to drop it off. And then something else comes up in the day or the week. You know, maybe your kid had a dentist appointment that, and then you were supposed to drop it off after that. Uh, and then you just completely forgot. Hey, it, it happens. And I think that's what's happening here, too, is like I said, 50 uh, percent of our returns are are that way it ends up being that way they they just open the request they stay in that state and then it just gets forgotten and then uh, a week and a half to two weeks later we get an email from ebay saying you know we we close this item uh, on your favor and you no longer have to give a refund because they they have i believe uh, two weeks to three weeks before um, from the time that they open that, that request return, they have two to three weeks to actually send the item out to you. And if it doesn't happen between that time frame, eBay can close that out, uh, on your favor. And then you don't have to offer any refund, which is great. So you should be using that to your advantage. And again, this is speaking from experience. Um, you know, I can't say that this is how it is for everybody, but for us, um, it, it's just how it's been for us. And that's the reason, the, the top two main reasons why we, uh, why we offer free returns on all of our items. Okay. So the last reason is buyer's confidence and trust. I mean, that, that's kind of just a given right there, guys. Uh, in a nutshell, offering free returns just shows your great customer service for your customers. Okay. It just shows them uh, and highlights your level of professionalism. Uh, it shows them how confident you are uh, on the items that you are selling on eBay that you're trying to sell to them. So for us, we sell a lot of shoes and we, we also do sell some men's clothing, uh, obviously all used, and we pick them up at you know, Goodwills, thrift stores and, and stuff like that. But we're confident that we get them at such a low price that if it does get returned, it's not going to matter. We're still going to make money on it. Either we relist it or even if we just take it as a full loss, uh, we're actually still making, you know, pretty, a pretty decent profit on it. So um, when buyers are shopping online and browsing through your eBay store, they, all they have to rely on is the pictures that you take, uh, that you upload to eBay and along with the description, uh, on your description text on your listing. So just imagine it from their point of view, they can't touch, feel, smell, or whatever the else the case may be on that specific item. So giving them that confidence that they can return it at no cost to them is just a big plus that just to me in my opinion that just drives your sales even even higher and uh to this day i still don't understand why people don't take advantage of it and like i said i think it's primarily because they are looking at the the smaller picture as opposed to the bigger picture uh, they are looking at it in terms of, well, how much money am I going to lose if this item gets returned as opposed to saying, if I offer free returns, I'm going to get a lot more customers that will buy from me. So, um, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, this is, um, just the way we, we have experienced it over the past year and a half, two years now that we've been doing this. So, um, again, 
three reasons. Reason number one, returns don't happen a whole lot anyway. And if it is happening way too much for you, over 2%, over 3%, then maybe it's the items that you're selling for the reason why they're being returned. Um, number two, reason number two is that most most returns age out. They, they just age out eventually. And even though they do open the return, it just never gets shipped back to you. And uh, eBay will close that out and uh, close it out on your favor. And you, you won't ever have to uh, provide a refund for your buyer. And number three, just it's excellent customer service, uh, buyer's confidence and professionalism. So hope you guys found this video useful and this and more to come in the future guys thanks so much for watching